need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Omar no Ahmed, IFL TV. Well, listen, we all love Joe Joyce, top guy, but terrible performance tonight from him. Frank, if we're being honest. I, I thought the first two rounds, he'd done what you got to do with a sad boy. He's moving to the guy's left and negating that punch. But once he stood toe to toe, he got caught. It was a little bit of a shootout, and he got caught with a big, big punch and saying, you know, you got to take his hat off to him. He threw, he threw a, a massive punch there and done the business. I could see what Joe was trying to do, but he still wasn't putting a dent in Jang. He wasn't offering anything himself. I don't agree with that. I mean, the first round, they're filling him out. You've got to remember, he's been in with a guy before, and what he sh the plan for him was to get him into the latter rounds. That's what he was working towards. But he negated Jang. Jang couldn't, weren't throwing it, could catch him in the first couple of rounds. But once he was, once they got, went toe to toe, that was it. Where does he go from here, Joe, Frank? I don't know, he's going to have to look at it and decide what he wants to do. Um, you know, it's a long way, it's a long climb back. There's some really good domestic fights if he wants to do them. Or he may consider that he wants to retire, I don't know. I'm just going to say, because of that sort of brutal knockout, we've never seen really Joe, well, we haven't seen him dropped in a professional ring, so retirement may be an option, no? Of course it's an option, you know, but he's got to decide what he wants to do and think about what he's got to give. That's really it. And the people around him, obviously we'll give him some advice. Him and Daniel Dubois in a rematch, potentially, if you want to do that. It's a big fight. If they want to do that, it's something to consider. But I think at the moment, he needs to think about himself, where, what he, you know, what does he feel, what does he feel he can give to boxing still? And he may feel he can give a lot, and that's, his, that's, that's up to him. And from a personal point, in terms of business viewpoint, we know Tyson Fury and the plans in Saudi Arabia, it's really thriving, let's say, hopefully next year. But you've just had Daniel Dubois, I know you're putting an appeal, but at the moment he's lost to Alexander Rusik. Joe Joyce has just got knocked out by Zhilai Zhang. From, from a personal point of view, obviously it's been a, a tough couple of weeks for you, Frank. Well, it's been tough, the fact of doing it, but Zhang's with us, he's promoted by Queensbury. So he's the WBO interim champion, and he'll be fighting the WBO champion next year, because he'll be older, and he's with us. Does he beat Alexander Usyk for you? Listen, he catches U Usyk in one of those shots, he'll, he'll hurt him, won't he? It's two southpaws as well, so that'd be interesting. And I know that he, you know, and, and he's not a four, he knows what uh, Usyk's weaknesses are. When you look at the top guys, Tyson, Deontay, Alexander Usyk, where'd you put Zhang in that mix? I think he's in the top four. I think it gives anybody problems. Look, I, I mean, you've got to also look at the fight he gave Hergovic, who everyone was saying was a monster. I thought he won that fight. Um, and it was, a, you know, it was a close fight, but I thought he won it. So he's no slouch, that's for sure. And he just showed what power he's got tonight. We showed his boxing ability in the last fight, and he showed his power in this fight. That's what he did. And let's get it right, everybody was, up until, up until that fight, first fight, most people were talking about what a tough fight that Joe would give Tyson. He just called out Tyson Fury, Jane. Thoughts? I'm sure he did. He's, he's out and wants to make a payday, doesn't he? And a big fight. You can't blame him for that. Last one, Anthony Yard. Obviously, a run out for him tonight, Frank, if we're being honest. Just a, a sort of comeback fight. But Boatsy Aziz, that winner. Has, have you talked to Anthony about that? Well, we lost we lost his opponent, and that was a substitute. It was what it was. He needed to get the rust out of his system. That's training and getting into the ring. He's done that. That fight is not a problem making with us the winner of that. Does he want that, Anthony? I want it definitely. It's, you know, they're not pushing an open door of us. It took the door off the hinges. We would like to see that. Great, thank you for your time. You do not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.